Hey guys, Initial Shock here coming back with another video. Today I'm going to be highlighting Shadow of War, the newly released Middle Earth Lord of the Rings game. Uh, it actually came out last Tuesday. It took me this long to actually get a video together. I don't know why, because it's actually now one of my favorite games ever. Um, Shadow of Mordor kind of brought me into the game, brought me into the, the mechanics of it, and uh, that was a great game. I actually bought it twice, once for PS4, once for Xbox One. And and today I kind of just want to show you guys uh, how the game works, uh, give you a little bit of information on on the, the kind of mechanics, the, the core of the game and what it's built around, and maybe even get you guys out and, uh, and get yourself a copy because I think everybody should enjoy this one. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I want to make this video as short as possible. First off, the main selling point to this game is the Nemesis system. It's very unique. Uh, it, it was in Shadow of Mordor, and I'll, I'll just ex I'll just explain it uh, in layman's terms, kind of as easily as as I can. So in the game, you're going to come up against normal soldier orcs. They don't have a rank. They don't have names. They're just kind of cannon fodder for you. Uh, they give you they give you uh, experience and and. Uh, Get your kind of your kill streak up or your uh, your hit streak, which allows you to have you know powerful hits, more powerful hits on on the next item. So it'd be soldiers, captains is the next. Normally, captains are surrounded by the soldier orcs, so it, it can be a little difficult. Uh, captains have uh, and names. Normally, they also have uh, intro cutscenes and kind of cutscenes that that when you kill them, you, you'll you'll get them speaking to you. Uh, sometimes it's kind of funny, and every one is actually unique. Every name I've seen in both games is unique. Um, the Nemesis system kind of generates the captains uh, and uh, gives them, you know, unique skills, unique weapons, and uh, weaknesses. So you want to exploit those weaknesses. Some soldier orcs actually can tell you those weaknesses, which give you a, a leg up on that captain. You can be ambushed by the captains. The captains can be death-defying. So when you go to kind of final kill them, they'll uh, they'll block your attack, and you'll you know they'll gain a little bit more health, and you'll have to fight them again. Some can retreat on you. Some are are. Uh, um, too scared to finish the battle so they retreat there's tricksters in this one uh, so they use kind of magic to run away um, there's it, it's just it's really extensive I could probably go on for the next 15 20 minutes just on the nemesis system but we, we don't have that long so let's continue so you have soldiers captains war chiefs is the next so war chiefs command captains War chiefs are stronger, smarter. They have the same kind of skill set as the captains, so they'll have unique skills, unique weapons, and unique weaknesses. And in order to exploit those, you have to take down the captains. So each war chief has a band of captains that kind of are his bodyguards. So you want to kill the captains first by finding out the weaknesses of the captains. It makes it easier to kill the captains. Then once you get rid of the captains, it's easier to kill the war chiefs because they're not surrounded by three or four other orcs with you know higher levels, uh, unique skills, and unique weaknesses. So you see how kind of it kind of gets a little complicated in the middle, uh, where kind of all the orcs help each other, and you're only one one person. In this game, actually, you're fighting uh, mostly with Gondor. So in the last one, you kind of weren't. You were fighting with like a, a rebel faction, um, kind of captured, captured Gondorians that you've helped, get, you know, escape. Um, but that's in Shadow of Mordor. This is Shadow of War. So you're you're being helped by the Gondorians, and uh, it actually it actually kind of balances out the game because uh, there there's a lot of orcs. <laughs> In, in this game, a lot of them. Uh, you can't, you can never stop moving unless you're kind of hidden. So, um, after war chiefs, so you have soldiers, captains, war chiefs. After war chiefs, there's overlords. So overlords actually command an entire region. So once you take them out, you uh, weaken the region enough 
There's still going to be captains and stuff, but those overlords are going to be gone. They are higher, higher rank. They are the smartest of the orcs. Uh, their weaknesses are kind of far and few between, and um, they're hard to kill. And they pack a punch, so when they hit you, you gotta, you know, you're always moving. Keep, uh, keep on your toes when you're fighting an overlord. So let's just move, keep moving on here. Uh, they have in-game credits, so this, this, I'm just gonna bang off a list here because it gets kind of uh, slower in, in the, this part of the video. In-game credits, which you accrue from, you can get them from soldier orcs, you can get them from doing side missions. Um, they can build up. Now, in this game, they've actually uh, kind of implemented a crate system, even in the single-player campaign. I know a lot of people are up in arms about that, but I have to tell you, I've played, I don't know, I, I've played maybe five, six, seven, eight hours of the game. And the only reason why I bought a crate was to see what it was all about. I, I, I don't think I don't think it's actually as heavily uh, of a kind of a heavily influencer kind of like it doesn't influence the game as heavily as people think it does. There, I, I finally spat it out. Um, so I, I actually don't have a problem with the crates now, as of now. Um, I know I'm only eight hours into the game, so maybe that'll change. But uh, the, you know, the the in-game credits you can actually purchase crates with. You can you can buy kind of gold um, with actual money, which gets you higher ranked crates. But I don't know. I, I haven't I haven't had a need for the crates yet. Uh, like I said, I'm the only reason I bought them is just to see what they were about. So uh, in this one, moving on. Uh, your gear, your gear you'll pick up from captains, war chiefs, and overlords at the end of the kill. You, they'll drop gear. It's all upgradable. They have uh, little side missions you can do to upgrade the gear. Once you complete the side missions, you'll get your your uh, gear upgrade. Now that costs in-game credits, which you get from killing captains, um, soldiers, war chiefs, overlords. Um, by doing side missions, kind of, so it, it kind of it doesn't really matter. Um, the price is negligible too. I haven't seen much of the of my in-game credits actually leave the, the the stockpile I have, so not a bad thing. Um, they also have this is new, I believe, in this one, Shadow of War. They have gems now, which you pick up from soldiers, war chiefs, captains, overlords. Uh, you can pick them up pretty much anywhere they drop randomly sometimes um, you get them from side missions so these gems are actually upgradable too so once you collect enough you can upgrade so if you have I think it's three if you have three of the weaker gems you can combine them to make a, a better gem then if you have three of those better gems you can combine them to make the next gem and I believe there's six um, kind of styles of gem each one has a different each one has a different um, kind of skill set to them, so they add either health, uh, attack power, stealth, um, and and the percentages change with the higher ranked gems. So I like that idea. You uh, you can upgrade the gems as you get them, and then you can actually slot those gems in the weapons you're using. And uh, the weapons are the sword the dagger, the bow, or hammer now. You can actually get a hammer in this one instead of the bow. Um, and then you have your chest armor, and then you have your cloak. So a lot of different uh, a lot of different things to upgrade in this one, uh, which I love. It all costs, so to upgrade the gems, it costs in-game in credits, not a problem to get. Gear, again, to upgrade it, in-game credits, not a bad, not a bad system, I like it. You, uh, you get higher you know higher ranked stuff just for a little bit of in-game credits and if you kind of if you kind of grind and, and kill a bunch of captains you're gonna have no problem picking up those credits and doing side missions and and picking up artifacts and it's just a really really extensive game um, I really really high, highly recommend it um, I haven't I haven't had a bad time with it yet um, I will say this if you kill a captain it's he's not always gonna be dead so I had a guy I think I killed an orc twice or three times 
and he ended up coming back all three times. He actually came back. He actually came back in the end five times, and then I, before I actually killed him. Finally, he hasn't shown up yet in the game. I hope he doesn't, because he was a real pain. <laughs> but uh, that's five times he 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 defied death five times. So that that's kind of neat. I like where the nemesis system comes in, and he never forgets. He always looks for me on the map. He's always ambushing me when you know it's it's the worst possible time. Um, and that's what kind of keeps the game fresh. You're never going to know when you're going to get ambushed from behind or or even, you know, if you're hunting down a captain and two more show up. It's it's uh, it's really it keeps you on your toes and uh, you got to be ready for a harder fight than you kind of walked into. Um, so just to kind of sum it up um, in a in a kind of a paragraph. Um, hunting down hunting down orc captains gets you new gear and experience. Um, new gear, experience, and gems, and credits, um, and, uh, and, and sometimes they can defy death, like I just said. Um, and then, so the next part would be experience. So the experience gets you skill points. So once you gain levels, you get skill points. Then you can use those skill points to upgrade your character. So your skills, your actual skills. There's an extensive skill tree. I'll uh, I'll put it up in the video so you guys can see it. But um, there's 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 so much customization in this game. It's absolutely ridiculous. You have the gear, the gems, the skills. Um, the nemesis system alone should should uh, be something to kind of consider this game for. It's uh, it's actually an awesome game, and I I uh, I loved making this video. I love getting the footage for this one. Uh, I, I I'm only on the second I'm only on the second area act, um, of the game and I've been playing for eight hours now so I think there's I'm gonna be playing this game for the next six months because I'm a side mission kind of hunter I like killing a bunch of captains I love leveling up I love getting new gear gems the skills um, it's a lot of fun and uh, even even talking about it, I'm kind of excited. I want to go play it right now. So <laughs> I'm going to get off. Um, I hope you guys have a good Tuesday. Um, don't forget to check out the new Twitch channel. Uh, even if I'm not streaming, give it a follow so that you get the notification when I do stream. I'm going to try to start streaming a bit more um, when the schedule kind of lightens up. I think I actually have a long weekend this weekend, so... Uh, you might see me stream a little bit more on the weekend, so that's good for you guys. That's good for me. I uh, hope you can stop by. Again, thanks for your support, um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.